there's an unsustainable element in world fisheries, whereas we're deleting species from our fisheries, basically. And the problem with that is that there's not an unlimited number of species to take. There's a limited number of resources out there, and if we're deleting them one by one, at one point we will run out. So based on that cash churn at that time, we projected that we may run out by the middle of the century if things, if this trends continue. What do you mean by run out? I mean, you're talking about there being very, very few fish at all left in the sea of, of, of the sort of regular fin fish that we all know and eat. Well, what, what we mean by run out is that those species that we consume today um, will have declined in their catch levels by 90% or more. So there are some regions where this collapse trend is increasing, there are some regions where there's very few species collapse and that's stable, and there are some that are getting better. So what we've done now is to use that knowledge to devise solutions for averting that crisis, to say, okay, there's some places that do the right thing, let's find out what they do, and then do that on a global scale. What would we be looking at in a area where we're looking at collapse. Describe the collapse yeah, I mean, of the region. How does it go? What are we, what are we left with? Re regions that have been fished for a long time and very heavily um, are the ones that look the worst. And the North Atlantic is probably for a large region on the planet. It's the worst right now. Right the area where we live. I live in eastern Canada, which has seen massive collapse of all the major ground fish stocks, cod, haddock, halibut, and so on, in the 1990s. And more so, when those stocks were then protected, they didn't come back. They were still, they're still at very low levels. It looks like in the last few years, cod starts to creep back up, so maybe halibut. Haddock is a different story. Haddock was protected in the US early on before it collapsed, and it has come back with a vengeance. Actually, fishermen from Canada go down there now. They say it's like in the 1930s. There was a large protected areas and restrictions on fishing methods and also the effort that people could spend days at sea, and that stock has come, up, come back beautifully. So it's a textured story of collapse, recovering, and learning from our mistakes.